Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we were in the middle of this, dealing with ants, uh, the Nellis uh, Air Force Array, oh, apparently they do still explode even with bullets, okay, um, well then, I want to try and keep that down to a minimum, shall we? <laughs> Anyway, uh, we were doing a little bit of an extermination for the uh, Nellis Boomers because uh, well, these guys have burrowed into their uh, power source array and has uh, caused quite a bit of havoc. It's now pretty much unusable and of course they uh, will kill anyone that comes in and apparently explode after you shoot them. So you want to keep your distance pretty much at all times. But for the time being, it seems, as long as you're dealing with them at a distance, you should be fine. But there's always that chance it can go south, so I might as well pop on the survivalist rifle to add some extra range to my attacks. Well, maybe. This way I can at least deal with them one at a time. Huh, I can't see this one. It must be up on the catwalks. Huh. So I need... Hmm. I need to deal with the nest. Which I would think is over here. But maybe not. I can't... Can't see any of them, although it says they're here. So, again, they must be on the catwalks. Uh... Place a sonic emitter on the ant mound. That would do it. Activate the sonic emitter. Uh, egg clutch. Uh, the ant meat's useless. If I had to do... Oh. Thump thump. The fuck is thump thump? Huh. Well then. That is a thing that I now have in my inventory. That I'll need to eventually check. Uh, I'm not looking for ant meat, I'm looking for ant nectar, but it doesn't seem that any of them have it, so I'm not going to bother checking anymore. Uh, activate. And that should kill most of them underneath. Okay. Huh. Oh, they were underneath. Oh. That's what it was. They weren't up on the catwalks. They were underneath. Oh. Okay. Well, I think I eliminated all of them that way. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, we picked up a unique weapon in the process while I was uh, doing that. So I might as well check the rest of this area, see if I can find anything useful other than that. Because, I mean, while I'm here, I might as well... Oh, wait, they were on the catwalks. Then, how did, how did it kill them up here, then? How did... Uh, um... Okay. I guess. That's a thing. I'm still confused, but whatever. I guess. Okay, well, I mean, I'm just gonna walk around here anyway... Okay, dead boomer. That's not good. Oh, they were using grenade rifles. And that's what I found. That, that was what Thump Thump was. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, eventually. Yeah, Thump Thump is, has a 40 millimeter grenade M. Okay, so it is, it is a grenade launcher, which is not really what we tend to use. So it kind of makes it not worthwhile. I mean, the damage output is huge, but it's, we're, we usually go for the DPS race, so... Uh, I don't know. Uh, that sucks. I'm sorry for you, man. And then they've had an assault carbine, so I guess that was where the bullets came in that they tested against these fucking ants. It's one gone. Okay, there's... Yeah, that, that killed all of them, even on top. So that's weird. 
How did, how did it manage to get up? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just gonna take... Uh, I'm just gonna take some other stuff. The Marksman Carbine. Alright, well, I'll take that. That's one of the things that bugs me the most out of, out of uh, Fallout 4, is that they have actual decent weapons in New Vegas that are actually realistic and weapons that we actually have. But then in Fallout 4, they just threw all that out the window. It's like, why? It, it's realistic and useful and actually makes sense to have a weapon, you know, that size, that weight, instead of like 20 pound fucking assault rifles that look like they've been pulled off of, you know, the side of a boat. It, do, it doesn't even make sense. All right, well, I mean, that's that's me just nitpicking a different game entirely, so should probably not do that. Is there any others? Is there any other stuff that I could pick up? Any other weapons? Any other dead boomers I can loot? <laughs> For lack of a better phrase. Uh, I guess the phrase would be better if I said, um, save their... Uh, memorabilia for later um giving back to the boomers <laughs> i guess i don't know i don't know it sounded good in my head but now it just sounds like i'm a fucking asshole which i am <laughs> let's be honest here i am okay and down and down we're good okay i don't see any other boomers or anything else so I guess I just need to turn these back on. And I managed to do it without firing that many shots. I'm happy. Okay, that's generator one and generator two. And... I guess I need to go up here and engage this. The main switch. And that powered everything. Wow. I guess they couldn't just light up the texture, so they had to load in the versions where they're actually lighted. That's weird. Okay. Well, anyway, I can just get out of here now. Oh, there was another entrance the whole time. I didn't even know. Well, there we go. Perfect. Haha. -ha. We've done an extermination of the ants that have taken their power. And we've re given them them power as well. <laughs> Alright. Man, there's going to be a lot of booms around here. That's going to be jarring for my brain in general. Okay. Well, oh, geez. Textures are loading in. Taking forever to do so. Man, I look good. Well, I mean, the helmet's a little jarring, but everything else looks good. I look good. I look damn good. Okay. God, it is weird to hear all that. The hell is? Why the hell is? Why are they running? That's weird. That's whatever. They probably have to run a lot in general. Okay. Well, I mean, now I just need to find Raquel. Just need to look where she is and somewhere over here. From the look of it. Oh, she's outside. That's good. At least I don't have to walk into any buildings. Okay, she's right over here. Hey, Raquel! Did the thing for you. I like see the power's back on. The mm -hmm. ants are all dead? Oh, yeah. Safe to go down Maybe there Maybe Pearl now. is right about you. Because I don't know how you pulled that off. I'll tell hey, you send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. Thank you. Hey, I'm accepted. Yay. Ant misbehaving. I assume that's a pun on ain't misbehaving. Huh. Anyway, uh, let's look at the next thing I needed to do. Well, I mean, I had several things I needed to do to help them. Um, Valer, help the boo uh, boomers around Nellis. <laughs> I can't talk anymore. There we go. One of them is over this direction. I think this is the uh, museum, isn't it? One of them is. Oh! Oh, there's a whole bunch of kids. Aw. Oh, they're so cute. Aw. 
we got over here? This is the Nellis Women's Barracks. Oh, that's definitely not one I want to intrude on. Uh, this is the medical station. Okay. The uh, sick and injured they were talking about. I can help with them. I have a high enough medical skill, I think. I know Mother Pearl is letting Argyle. you wander Nellis as you please, outsider. But I have patients to tend to. Well, you call me an outsider, so thank you. At least you're calling me something that isn't insulting to me, so thank you. Anyway, I'm looking for ways to make myself useful. I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago. Oh, I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. Do you have medical training? Yeah, I have an extensive medical knowledge. Let's see what I can do. If what you say is true, you can do us a world of good. That's good. Well, as long as I'm able to help, I need to turn on the light because shit, I can't see shit, so that means you can't see shit. Oh, wow, they have a lot of stuff here. A lot. Not oh, damn. Where's the three? Oh, there's this injured boomer. 34 is stitched on the back. The, they came from Vault 34. That explains the Vault Dweller outfits. Okay. Okay. All right. This man looks like he has a serious infection, and proper treatment will kill him. Would you like to treat him? Absolutely. Treat the infection. With a combination of natural herbs, bandages, and some disinfectant, you are able to clean the wounds and help boost the patient's immune system enough that he'll survive. I thought that Yay! was done for. But you brought him around. Well, I'm good at that. Typically. More or less. Okay, what do we got? This guy. Severely injured, swelling around his face and neck is interfering with his breathing. Uh, do I have enough? That's a question. I think I do. I think I have 60. I do have 60. Okay, treat the patient. After careful consider... Uh, uh, bleh. Try that again. After carefully considering treatment options, you realize the patient is merely having a strong allergic reaction. To the ants. Oh! Didn't realize you could be allergic to ants. Although that makes sense. Anyway, by cleaning all the wounds of ant venom and administering a steroid compound, you reduce the swelling and the patient's breathing returns to normal. Yay! Now I'm liked! Enough news of your good works has been passed around that the people like Excellent you. Excellent treatment. I hadn't thought of that. Well, to be fair, I would have been surprised if anyone else did think of that. Okay, what do we got on this guy? Okay, he's 50. This one's easy compared to the other two. Leg is seriously injured and may require amputation to save him. Perform the operation. Upon further examination after cleaning the leg, you realize it can be saved. You carefully remove the existing stitches, clean the wounds thoroughly, then restitch the wounds closed using a much more effective procedure. That was some fine doctoring. I could learn a thing or two from you. Yeah, you can. Keep that in mind. Yes, outsider? So, I, uh, finished treating your patients. Those men owe you their lives. Seems we could learn a thing or two from you savages. There you go to savages, medicine, at least. Could you just go to outsider, please? Could you just stick with outsider, please? That's all I ask of you. <sighs> okay, time for me to go. Later. Later. Alrighty. That's one down. Well, I mean, that's two down, technically. And we got a couple more to go. Uh, let's go to Loyal's place. I think Loyal had something for me to do. If I remember right. Uh, no, Loyal didn't have something. Uh, who's this guy? Or gal, or other. Uh, Nellis Boomer Museum. Oh, this is the museum. Okay. Now we can learn about who these people came from. You're the outsider. Mother Pearl yeah. sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Kinda, yeah. Who are you? Me? I'm Pete, keeper of the story. Aren't you I a little young? I know I seem kind of young. Okay. I was the apprentice keeper of the story until a couple months ago. But old keeper Don... Well, uh, whiskey and landmines don't go together. Oh. So it's up to me. I bet you want to know everything about us. Whiskey and landmines, that's that's really not a good combo, so you're kind of right on that, kid. <laughs> sorry, that you're, sorry that your teacher ended up being the unfortunate uh, combiner of those elements, but hey, I mean, at least you learned, right? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to know all about your Wonderful. People. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell oh. you what it all means? Oh, sure. Absolutely. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> well, I think I am. 
Uh, so they did come from a vault. I see that. Ages ago, yeah. long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. Oh, that's rude. Whoa. We left and wandered the wastes. There were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades. Burned them with flamethrowers. Wow, that's it was overkill. Neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. You we calculate that? Home. We needed Nellis. What the, the... Um... Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here are mighty guns to destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, okay. Until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways... Okay. This has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. Oh. Really? And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. Oh. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I'm pleased wow. to listen to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. What in the fuck? What in the fuck? So they're planning on going full America on just random tribals? What? I'll take this. What the, uh... Now that you know the story of our people, you must have all sorts of questions. Yeah, are you people nuts? It's, well, it might actually be true. Um, <laughs> uh, could you tell me that my dog's apparently barking at something? Uh, yep, he's still barking. Is he done? Yeah, he's done. Okay. Uh, looking to make myself useful. Who needs help around here? Over at the workshop, Loyal and Jack are always building something. The Loyal may not be too happy to see your kind running around Nellis. I mean, your kind. But I guess I can always talk to them. Alright, uh, I know the story of the mural. I've already heard it, but, uh, some questions about your people's history. Ask away. Uh, like, why did your ancestors leave the safety of a vault? So you know about the vaults? Yeah. Yes, we lived in one of those. Ours was numbered 34. In our vault, everyone had guns. But the overseer wouldn't let you fire off any of the really fun ones. I guess all the little <laughs> pops and bangs at the firing ranges just got boring after a while. Okay. <laughs> your people were willing <laughs> willing your people were willing to risk it all for freedom and at Nellis we found it we haven't detonated any atomic warheads since before I was born but otherwise it's do as you will since anything before else you, want you to were know? born they, you mean they detonated them before that's weird I'm surprised Nellis was empty when your people found it several automatic warheads detonate here a hundred years ago I assume he means the atomic base highly radioactive the savages of the waste, ignoramuses, all avoided Nellis by habit. Uh, whereas your people had brought Geiger counters with them from the vault. That's exactly right. You're very knowledgeable for a sav, an outsider. Anything else you want to well, know? Well, at least you caught yourself that time. Uh, how do you survive? Totally cut off from the world. Nellis is a completely self-sufficient community. We draw water from Lake Mead, solar arrays provide power, and we grow our own crops. The, you must cultivate soy or legumes for protein in addition to grains. Indeed we do. Very impressive. Anything else you want to know? Huh. How, what are howitzers doing at an Air Force base? You're right. They weren't here when we discovered Nellis. We found the guns at a huge weapon depot called Area 2, many miles from here. Hmm. It took many weeks to drag the guns and their ammunition back to Nellis. And it was the last time any of us set foot beyond our homeland. That howitzer battery is a monument to the grit and resolve of your people, I guess. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to pass that on. I keep Anything gaining more famous. I keep saying this good stuff. <laughs> it's amazing. How has Nellis taught your people to fly? Once we restore power, we learn that some elaborate chairs we've been sleeping in were actually virtual reality simulators. Oh. We believe they were used to train combat pilots. We use them extensively. 
I alone have shot down over 500 Chinese. Zion 85 fighters. Before wow. you ask, I'm afraid there's no way you can be allowed to use the simulators. They're for our use only. Sorry. Oh, I wanted a return of the, the uh, Operation Anchorage DLC. Oh, well. Oh, to slip the surly bonds of Earth and dance amid the soaring birds. That's beautiful. Yes, it's exactly like that. So free, so... Words can't do it justice. That is Anything true. Anything else you want to know? That is true. Uh, how, uh, bleh, how did you learn where to find an old bomber? Loyal found a file somewhere on the base. With magazine articles, photographs, a map even. Hmm. It seems that a bomber, apparently the 29th of its kind, crashed in Lake Mead on July 21st, 1948. Just imagine, that's over hmm. 300 years ago. Yeah. The photograph shows that it was basically intact, and the map tells us exactly where to find it. Except we haven't left Nellis in decades. If it's 300... Huh. That is pretty old. You could attach ballast to the plane and then haul it here for repairs. Yes. In fact, that's exactly what Loyal has planned to do. You should go talk to him. I wish hmm. everyone were just as interested in our story as you are. Maybe I should act out the battles. Or learn how to throw my voice. Eh, those might be ad nice additions, maybe. Anyway, uh, goodbye. Bye. Nice learning. It's definitely nice learning about how fucking boom happy these guys are. Ah, uh, jeez. Okay, return to Pearl. There's, there's more stuff I need to do for, with Loyal and everything. Oh, well. I, I might as well just walk up to the door. Actually, let's, let's just talk to her, and then I'll end the episode after that. Because we're a little over time as it stands. Earl! You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. Well, I think. I've done everything I can help. I can to help out. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. That's good. Find Loyal, and ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next. That's the bomber, right? I'm pretty sure that's the bomber. Ah, it is the bomber. So now I can deal with it. Okay. Fair enough. I'll do that now. But I need to end the episode here for right now because I'm way over time as it stands. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and helping out the bomber, uh, bombers, boomers <laughs> with their bomber eventually. And then every little other thing from extermination of ants to learning about their history for you.